I'm doing this for me to show myself I can. Because if I don't, I'm gonna always wonder if I could have. Hi, my name is Katie Grace, and this is my story. I feel like it's important to preface it with like, I've had like a diagnosed anxiety disorder since I was like in second grade. So that's kind of like the reason I got into sports in general was to like softball really helped me like deal with that. Freshman year I was kind of like, I didn't get many opportunities on the field and like I had performance anxiety, but like I was good. So coming in when I met KG, she's a very strong willed person. Like you know her intentions, what she's gonna do. If she has like something on her plate, she's gonna get it done and get it done perfect. You know, as a coaching staff, we definitely supported Katie Grace. And you know, any player that comes into your program, and for me, I care about them first as people. Off the field and on the field, you have challenges. And that person in this case was Katie Grace. And then my sophomore year came around and I think I was like, they were expecting a little bit more out of me. And so that was a lot of pressure for me. We went to Palm Springs and we were playing Missouri. And my best pitch had always been my changeup. Like I never had a problem with it. It was always a strike. It was like what I relied on. And when we were playing Missouri, I like forgot how to throw the pitch. Like my body was completely locked up. Um, I couldn't remember how to throw it. It's like the most bizarre sensation I've ever had. And I kept just like throwing the ball almost over the backstop. Nobody really knew how anxious she was really feeling until she was in the game and like couldn't throw a change up and like couldn't throw the pitches that she relied on. And that was when I was prescribed at a van four times a day, which is like very sedating. I couldn't keep myself safe and my pitching coach was super involved at that point, was like, we gotta get you in somewhere. And so when we got back, I went into the hospital at UNC. And so I went in there and they ended up admitting me to the crisis unit. I got out of there after three days with really like nothing coming of it. I was like, what am I doing? Like, I felt like I was living this double life where I was like really struggling, but then I'm showing up to practice and playing. After that season was over, I went to Connecticut where I did not think I really had an issue with eating as much as I really did. And so now we're into our junior year of fall is when she was in treatment that I was talking about. She's having to make the decision if she's gonna quit softball or not. I think it was a matter of finding what I needed because the first treatment place, while it was very like healing and relaxing and like supportive and I met with therapists, it wasn't the structured tough love help that I needed. It was more like enabling me and teaching me how to like make my eating disorder look normal rather than teaching me how to not have one. I needed to learn how to move my body when I wanted to move my body, how to be able to eat when I needed to eat and not being dictated by a softball schedule. I've always struggled with my body and like softball's what made me feel like there's a reason for it. There's always these stereotypes where you're just, to be the best, you have to be the skinniest, like the fastest, the strongest player and that's gonna make you the best player on the field when in reality that's not how it is, especially in softball. It's, I feel like so many times with athletes, it's like, you might not like your body, but it's perfect for your sport. It's like, what happens when that sport goes away? All of a sudden I was at home with nothing to do. I'm like, I have no excuses. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like it really like put everything into perspective for me. I think in terms of like the eating disorder, I would say like you have to be willing to want it. Like you, nobody can recover for you. And I think if you truly want to recover, you have to do the work and you have to lean on other people, but also find a way within yourself to get yourself to a better spot because no one can do it for you. I, and there was no doubt in my mind that she wasn't gonna get, like get it done, but it was hard to see like the strongest person you know go through such like hard things. 
And so our season started, I was traveling with them, like student coach role, just doing charts, um, throwing pregames. And then Brittany, our pitcher, found out she had partially torn her bicep. And another one of our pitchers was out for the season with a potential um, need for surgery. So we were really hurting this time. I'm in a space now where I'm like in remission from my eating disorder. And like, if I can get out there and show myself that I can do it, even if I only throw one pitch, like it's one less pitch somebody else has to throw. And like, I'm winning just by being out there. And she asked, you know, she came in my office, she said, what can I do to help this team? Like she was a senior, she wanted to do whatever she could, even if she couldn't play. Like she hadn't practiced for a year and she came out and she was a starting pitcher. I mean, who can do that, you know? We got to go back to Pittsburgh this year and I got to throw a seven inning game. Feel all of that excitement in a place where three, two years earlier, I'd been asleep in the bullpen, you know, not wanting to be here anymore. And I think for me, it was like taking all of these bad memories and being able to like make new ones that are more positive in the same places. It was really cool how she was able to use softball. She made it her own tool and like made it something where she can be like, I'm proud of this moment. So I think for me, it was just so nice to be able to have that like last game where, you know, I felt great. I got to walk off the field. I got to hug my teammates. I got to, you know, experience this moment of like coming off the field the way I wanted to rather than kind of having to come off the field for my own health and well-being. And so I think it was just, it was just a much nicer way to end my career.